Watching a video monitor and maneuvering control levers. That's all it took to transfer a container from a ship to dockside safe and sound at Shanghai's Yangshan Deep Water Port. From an office building in downtown Yangpu district, more than 100 kilometers away. The new remote control system made its debut yesterday. Thanks to advanced fixed network technology, the real-time video and control signals can be sent from the office to the crane in just 500 microseconds, enabling it to handle around 28 container units an hour. That's a lot more convenient for everyone. It shortens our commuting time, saving us more than an hour by not having to cross the Dunghai Bridge. And the new system has solved the problem of shaking video and control delays, which helps us to position the containers more accurately and safely. The video is very smooth, just as if you were on the spot. The Shanghai port is the first in the world to utilize the fifth generation of fixed network technology in dock corporation. The technology is a great improvement in bandwidth, speed, reliability, and the number of connections, creating a safe and reliable channel for remote control of the port machinery. With this project, the Shanghai International Port Group has improved emergency response capability and continued operating ability of the Yangshan Port Terminal. The improved efficiency has enabled the throughput of the fourth phase of the Yangshan port, which utilizes the system to top more than 550,000 TEU last month, the highest monthly throughput in its history. Currently, the automated container port now has five remotely controlled cranes and an even larger plan for the future. We are working to have all our remotely controlled equipment out of the port by the end of next year. We're looking for ideal locations somewhere near where our staff live, like metro stations. And this isn't just for the fourth phase of the Yangshan port. In the future, we may move all our remote control equipment downtown. Huang says the company is now working with universities and colleges, research institutions, and leading industrial companies to move the new technology to ports around China and even to more overseas ports. Still, continuing skyrocketing freight rates across the globe indicates that improving container operation efficiency is far from enough. Shanghai Port last month launched a new empty container distribution center as part of its efforts to ease the container shortage by accelerating the turnaround of empty containers. Storage yards in Yangshan's two docks will see container storage capabilities greatly enhanced by the beginning of next year. They'll be able to stack around 100,000 containers. And we're working to improve our booking time from 48 to 72 hours, because the earlier the plans are made, the more accurate the berthing can be. Shipping companies will also be able to advance their scheduling times. The shortage of empty containers at China's major ports was down to 1.4 percent in June, 12 percentage points less than at the beginning of the year, indicating container shortages here are now a thing of the past. And they're moving a lot faster too, thanks to all that new technology.